morning. I'm one who is captivated by the love of Christ. My name is Ryan McKeel and this is YBMerelyHuman.com. This morning I'm in the beautiful Glen Airy uh, Park, which is in Colorado Springs, Colorado, enjoying some time away with my wife. Uh, she's still sleeping, so I got a chance to get up uh, and, and uh, enjoy the, the sun as it comes across. And this morning I want to talk a little bit about the glory of the Lord and the beauty of the Lord. Uh, so I'll start with Psalm 34, 8. It says, Oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. Oh, fear the Lord, you his saints. There is no want to those who fear him. The young lions lack and suffer hunger, but those who seek the Lord shall not lack any good thing. And this morning, I'm reminded that I do not lack any good thing. Uh, life is really tough right now. We're, we're uh, waiting on our third baby to come and it's, it's, it's a lot of work and, and it's uh, hard work and good work. But the Lord has been faithful through it all and I just love this uh, psalm because it says, taste and see that the Lord is good. So it's, it's a tangible call to experience that the Lord is good instead of just saying, uh, you know, past difficulties were too hard and I'm going to be bitter about things. So, so I encourage you to taste and see that the Lord is good. Um, as I'm out in nature this morning and, and really enjoy nature, it's, it's not that I worship nature, but I worship the one who created nature, uh, who is the Lord, the Lord God. And as I reflect on that, I think about Romans 1, uh, which says, Romans 1, 20, which says, For since the creation of the world, his invisible attributes are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even his eternal power and Godhead, so that they are without excuse. And it's speaking of people who uh, harden their hearts against God. And so I encourage you with nature, uh, such as these red rocks uh, in Colorado Springs or wherever you are in the world, um, there's likely some natural beauty that you can see and instead of worshiping that natural beauty what you can do instead is say by by looking at these things I can understand the invisible attributes of God so looking at the stars the other night uh, which is hard to do because I live in Denver uh, and there's a lot of city lights so it's very hard to see the sky here I was able to see the sky and it reminds me of the uh, infinity um, of the Lord Christ, which is that for each star that I see, that could be a galaxy or a very large star that's larger than the Earth, and and that's amazing to me uh, because how small am I, uh, and how large is the Lord? How big is God? So don't wrap God in a box. Um, I've I've made that mistake. I'm probably still making that mistake. I'm understanding how grand the Lord is, but uh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Uh, thank you.